Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at Manage Engine PAM360 solutions integration with Manage Engine's Application Control Plus product. PAM360 already offers application sandboxing with the help of uh, remote app capability. It also has just-in-time privilege elevation capabilities. So what would be the benefit of integrating Manage Engine PAM360 with Application Control Plus product? Well, Application Control Plus is our endpoint privilege management solution. So obviously having an integration between PAM360 and Application Control Plus allows you to have a finer control over application access provided to your end users. It also simplifies access management with regards to applications and you can also extend the capability of PAM360 when it comes to just-in-time elevation by also providing just-in-time access for applications. And finally, Application Control Plus also has child process control capabilities that you would be able to leverage. So if you are an existing customer of Application Control Plus or Manage Engine's Endpoint Central solution, you perhaps already know about these capabilities. If not, the integration can be enabled pretty easily. So you can log into your uh, application control plus solution or the endpoint central solution and then navigate to the admin area. You will find this API Explorer area where you will find authentication option and underneath that the login option. So here is where you will supply the username and password with which you typically log in to the application control plus solution. And remember that you have to use the same credential to log into our PAM360 solution in order to execute this integration. So once you supply the credentials and click on execute, you will find a result here and you will also find the authentication token being supplied here. So you need to copy this token and then navigate to PAM360 solution. You can go to the admin tab and under privilege elevation section, you will have this application control option, which will prompt you to supply your application control plus URL, the port number and the authentication token that you have copied. So if the user account with which you've logged into application control and PAM360 are same, and if that user has admin privileges in both the products, then the integration would work out of the box and going to this application control section would allow you to actually see the application control product right inside PAM360's console. Now, coming to the actual capabilities of application control plus and how we can benefit PAM360. So there are two grouping options available inside this application control module. So the first is application groups, and then you have the computer groups. So this solution, by the way, is an agent-based solution. So you have the option to deploy the agents using multiple options. So you could deploy them through GPO or Active Directory-based pushing, or you could also push the agents using Application Control Plus application itself, so long as you have a privileged account provided for it. But once the agents are deployed in your target machines, it will allow you to enumerate the applications that are installed in those target machines. And uh, so you will find all the computers discovered under the computer section. You can create a custom group to collect different computers for different purposes. Say, for example, you have all of your database servers, then you can collect them and call it as database servers group. And then under the applications group, you will also be able to create an allow list or a block list. So you can create an allow list and select the particular application that you would like to be allowed to be executed in the target machine. And uh, so the application groups you have collected can be associated with the computer groups. So that way, um, the users who are accessing these target machines will follow or will be enforced to follow the allow list of applications provided for them. So uh, in terms of uh, just-in-time access, you could also create a policy and say the application access uh, should be provisioned only on a specific time frame. Now in PAM, we already have just-in-time feature, but 
that would basically be for privileged access as a whole. Say if somebody wants to launch a remote session or a, a RDP session into a Windows machine, you could control the just-in-time elevation where a, a non-privileged account can be temporarily elevated to become a privileged account. But in that case, the entire session obviously runs as a privileged account user. But with application control plus integration, you can configure this just-in-time access truly for application. Say, for example, you would like to allow Microsoft SQL Studio to run as a database administrator privileged access only from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You could configure a policy accordingly and deploy it to the target machine. So the benefit of this is when users log into PAM 360 solution, let's say they are end users of PAM and they go to the connections tab, look for the target machine, and launch a remote access to the target machine. So regardless of what account they use, so they might be using a shared domain account or a local account, or they might also use their own domain admin account or a domain account provided to them. Regardless, all the policies enforced via application control plus will be applicable, which means they could only run Microsoft SQL Studio as a database administrator, or they will not be able to access applications that are added into the block list of this application control plus module. So in addition to that, there are other capabilities available within this ACP module, such as privilege management. So you can go to this modify button, to uh, basically control when an application's elevation can be authorized. So you will be able to provide the elevation for all apps or for specific apps and you can select the apps and you can configure for auto elevation. So this would allow you uh, removing a lot of overhead by manually approving requests, say for example, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's the business hours and you want your administrators to be able to execute certain applications as administrative users only during the business hours. You can configure that here and roll out this policy so that out of the business hours, no one will be able to run any of these apps with a privileged or an elevated permission. And then you also have an option to remove admin rights from all the machines. So this would also be beneficial because PAM already has this just-in-time elevation feature, right? So you can use this option to basically remove any and all accounts that are part of the local administrator groups of all of your target machines. So no local admin accounts will be there in any of the machines. And then you could leverage PAM to temporarily elevate non-admin accounts to be a part of local admin group. Now, obviously, uh, Application Control Plus will periodically check if there is any local admin accounts in, in the machines and remove them. So what you can do is you can use the one-time option to remove all the local admin accounts and then leave this Enable Automatic Removal option turned off. So this way, PAM360 and Application Control Plus will not have any conflicts in temporarily elevating users to be local admin and then demoting them automatically. So if you would like to know more about the capabilities of our Application Control Plus product, or if you want to see the features, we will share the link of uh, the product in the description so you can have a look at it. Thank you.